What's up, ladies and gents? I am Magicide, and welcome back to our succession series here, playing as the Yabweeds. Still see that we have our wars here. Kind of forgot about that, but it ain't no thing. You know what? We have two free diplomats right now. Currently, we're in two different wars, obviously. We're dealing with the Mutapin and Melindi War. And then we're dealing with Bunyoro and Kaffa. It looks like my... Uh, my allies are doing a pretty good job of sieging this stuff out, which is great. I'll be able to take care of this one army that they were giving me some trouble there, walking back and forth and shit. But we completely conquered Melindy. I think it'd probably be good to just take all their stuff. All their land and all their money, like right now. <laughs> it's only going to give us a small amount of overextension and aggressive expansion. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, it's just really dealing with this Merc spam over here. I could have swore there was something else I was going to do, but I don't remember what it was. Um, I know I was going to try to convert some of this stuff. Like, this one's already been converted. So let's turn some of these random islands into trade company. Uh, I think this one? Okay, that one's still Sunni. Okay, well, looks like we're just going to have to really pay attention to getting the rest of this actually converted. And then we still have this area over here. We are working on Wari, which is really good. Once that stuff actually starts to convert over, it's going straight into a trade company. So let's proceed. Uh, you know, actually, before we do that, before we unpause, let's try to head all these transports over here. Let's group them all together. Let's see here, you guys are a trade fleet. Right. That's right, I was going to actually declare this war on... Joloff, and they are allied to the Canaries here. Yeah. So what I was going to do is I was going to conquer Joloff first and then move over here to the Canaries. And as far as our overextension, we're at 0%, so we could uh, definitely get in a couple of a couple more provinces here, and I think we should probably do that. Actually, you know what? I could probably cobalt drives these guys, right? Oh, I totally can. Yeah, let's do that. I think we'll do Imperialism. So it's going to be Wolof. Uh, do I have a free General? I really don't want to take the one that's about to engage over here. So he is the 621. Which means the other General... Looks like this guy is a 343. Three. Um, shit, I don't know. I wish there was a button to actually click on this. I know I've said this before, but I could actually go to his location. That'd be great. Sidney? Where the hell is that province? Uh, S I I. Wait, what? It's saying I have a general here. What are you talking about, fool? I must be tripping out here. Anyways, let's declare our... Well, we already did, never mind. What am I talking about? Losing my goddamn mind here. All right, let's take care of their capital fort. And then uh, let us proceed. We're going to drop it down to speed three. That right, was a nice and easy war. Burn all this stuff to the ground, of course. It was just those four provinces. And I don't think I forgot about that little island there. Okay, let's separate this by overextension. God, it's so dirt cheap. Okay. So, uh... Pada Shah Murad the First, which I believe is us, right now, is now our conqueror. Five years of, or excuse me, years of separatism minus five. That's excellent. Oh, uh, I had all these like little one stacks here. I don't remember what the hell I was going to do with them. I think that kind of makes sense. Um, let's see here. You guys are going there, so why don't you detach siege? Yeah.
I have been thinking about the new expansion pack that came out, or immersion pack, if you want to call it that. The uh, Rule Britannia. I was taking looking, looking. I was taking a look at some of the features of it, and I do have to say that I actually like the sound of some of them. The only thing that I'm really unsure of is the whole innovativeness. That's the one that actually sounds kind of hokey to me, as far as the features go. But I am uh, very interested in actually trying it. Okay, we had this southern army. Why don't you guys say come back up here? Looks like we have one army that's actually still in retreat mode. I know I've had a, some people ask me about whether or not I was going to, you know, do an actual... Oh, shit. Should not paying attention to this. Whether or not I was actually going to do, you know, a regular EU4 campaign, you know, where we do some achievement hunting, and the answer is yes, absolutely. And I think it's going to include the uh, Rule Britannia expansion. Okay. Where are these guys going to? Wait, what? Let's just go up this way. It's good to find out that they, the new expansion is only 10 bucks. Although, I can't help myself but to think about it a little cynically because, you know, looking at DDR Jake's YouTube page, you know, he's posted like a good handful or two of the nations that are getting all these unique missions and whatnot. And what I'm really curious about is whether or not, or what are they going to do with the uh, remaining nations, the ones that didn't actually end up receiving unique mission tabs for, right? So what I was sitting there thinking is what they'll probably do in the future is include unique mission trees for other nations that they plan on, you know, continuing to thresh out, or regions, I should say. And I don't know how I feel about that. Part of me feels like... Like, that's some cheap-ass shit. Like, you know what, this expansion could have just included the whole mission tree for all of the nations instead of just the, the handful. So I feel like it's just another kind of, like, cheap money-making scheme. Although, I mean, I, I will say that it does kind of make sense about why you would have it. You know, only the the countries that are actually, you know, that would have a historical, uh, whatchamacallit, relationship with, say, England, or some of the ones that were contextual. Like, that kind of makes sense, right? So your private contractors, uh, I guess we're going to get some corruption here and lose some money. Oh, son of a bitch. See, this is why I need to be paying attention to these guys. Right, let's, uh... Going for ships here. I'm kind of wondering. Actually, we'll wait until this battle. There we go. Let's just um, sue for peace here. We want your co actually. Before I want his coastline, we should probably take a look at trade goods. I want those sweet, sweet gold mines. Oh yes. So let's sue for peace. I want Sofala. <laughs> it's so cheap. I want your coastline too, sir. Man, I could actually probably eat up his entire country here. Yeah. Absolutely. This is like highway robbery here. So really, I only have these two other provinces. Oh, actually, I'm sorry. We have three provinces. Okay. So we'll get the these other couple. fine. You want to know something? Yes. Okay. Continue to follow that guy, please. Okay, he's going to come back here. That's a guaranteed attack, which is great. Going to be able to get our one war finished up here pretty quickly. my allies, all of my vassals and whatnot, done a hell of a job. Just gotta wait for this one fort to fall. 
We're still waiting for the one Joloff for it. And son of a bitch. Yeah, we have some people sieging us out. Not cool. It's alright. You know what? Why don't I make this a little easier on myself? Ooh, they have a three-star general too. Why don't we... Probably should have done this originally. And this would have actually stopped a headache. Potentially from happening. And you guys can finally group up here. So what I was going to do with these guys is that I really want to take out Malaka and some of these colonizers. So the whole, whole purpose behind this was that I actually had a transport fleet. Although it needs to be bigger. I'm going to wait till they land first. And let's go ahead and take care of that. Oh, Siege of Warloff. God damn it. You know what? You know what? Screw that. Just come over here first, and then we're going to transport you over to the Canaries. And I'm assuming I have all of my provinces down here from Mutapa. Okay. Can I just get your entire country? Oh, damn it. He'll have one left. One province left. Holy shit, that's a lot of overextension, though. Yeah, man. No. We need to bring that down just a touch. How about your money? Actually, I was going to say, I could probably get war reps. Or I can just get a shit ton of money. I like the money. Give me those. Give me your cash, sir. Alrighty. So it looks like we got some work here. I wish there was a raise all button. So you didn't have to click on individual provinces like this. Because there's really no reason to not do it. Unless, of course, you're wanting to keep the some of these high value trade goods like the gold and the ivory and whatnot you want that to be high development I mean obviously there are strategic implications for keeping these things high development or actually even developing them yourselves but if I had the option right now just to straight up do a raise all I would do it say screw it Leave. Okay, we got two provinces left. I th think that should be all of them. Alright. Of course, it'll be nice and cheap. All those beautiful monarch points. Yeah. So we're at 73%, so we're going to have to hold off on our other war for a little while, which is a total pain in the ass, for obvious reasons. Son of a bitch. So, I think what I'll do, first of all, why don't you guys come up here? Do I need these forts? Kind of thinking no. You don't need a general either. As a matter of fact, I'll remove you, and then I had this uh, northern army over here. You can actually take this other general. Okay. Let's uh, put you on the ships, please. See if we can actually get around this Joloff Navy in time. As a matter of fact, I might want to hold off on... Sieging out that province. I don't want it to happen prematurely and have my transports get attacked. That would suck. Getting really close to actually... Whatchamacallit. Finish uh, integrating air. Or excuse me, uh, Tugert. Okay, both of you guys can come right back over here. Unfortunately, we're, we're gonna have to keep this. Uh, we're gonna have to keep this going for a while. We're gonna have to let some of those cores finish up. 
this looks like it's actually going to be a fairly difficult fight here. Potentially. So we have some rebels over here in Dahomey. Uh, where, pray tell, Wari? So most likely here. It's because we're trying to convert it. So I guess we could just raise autonomy here. I really hate to raise autonomy. Even though I'm not entirely certain that we need to worry about... Oh, we still have some absolutism. So what else can we do here? Debase currency. We can strengthen our government. Why would we need to do that? <laughs> to, get, to get one point of Horde Unity. We could actually do this and get a little bit of absolutism. Harsh treatment. Whatever. We're fine. That problem can be avoided right now. It's good. As soon as my troops land, we would move our transports out of the way so we don't have to worry about this navy. Come on. What's this? No. <sighs> We're going to hold off and take in tech, obviously. Because we are 5% ahead. God damn, will you fucking people hurry up? Alright, let's move our... I know it's going to give us some blockade power, but... Actually, we'll hold off. I'm not sure if the blockades have any influence whatsoever... ...on land battles. I know it, I mean, obviously on the sieges. So if I take you guys away, it didn't really inf affect the percentage there. Oh, we get the enlightenment. It d looks like it didn't actually spawn in our territory. You bastards. Uh... Oh, what the fuck? Chimera ended up getting it. No, Ayutthaya. So a two a two province country here has the enlightenment. Yeah, that, that totally makes sense. Which means I can just go in there and conquer this shit, right? Tributary of Khmer, and you are allied with Sukhothai. So these purple guys. So I'd end up fighting pretty much this, but I'd be able to feed Lanza. You know what? You know what? Hell yeah! Let's take one of our northern armies over here. Let's see here. Take. You guys to sit over here in Tavoy, and we'll take this other army to deal with Sukhothai. And as far as Khmer goes, I mean, we do actually have an army over there. We could bring in some reinforcements. Yeah, why not we do that? Just to be safe. Yeah, right there. We'll get in position to actually knock them out. I was hoping to actually go after Malacca, but that's not going to happen right now. Okay, so our one war here is actually totally finished. Outstanding. You know what? You know what? We have this entire fleet over here. Yeah, let's bring them around. You know, I could probably give my one general... Do you guys have three maneuver? I'm gonna give you this man here. Try to finish that up as quick as possible. You know what? All we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for our one, our couple armies over here to finish getting into position, then we'll declare our wars. What I'm worried about is that these guys are gonna annihilate this like little three stack here. Oh shit, yeah, they're coming. Actually, oh, oh, I just gotta do something like that. So that way you guys can actually group up here. Come on, baby. I want you guys all meet up here in Bambuck. And we'll just corner this fool. You know, I do have some colonists here, or some colonization I can continue to do. 
Right. So that one's a colony. That one's a colony. <laughs> I don't have any transports over here. But I could. Maybe I should. Actually. Okay, so I already took those five troops off. So what I'm going to do... Let's try to pick these gentlemen up. Yeah, shit, I'm going to have to actually create a couple of troops over here. So... So how many am I going to need? 900. All right, so we really only need two. Uh, one, two. And then we can, say, recall our colonists. And give it a day. And send them to these remaining provinces over here. It sucks that Pasai ended up grabbing that one, but, you know, what can you do? What can you do? Come on, baby. Come for daddy. All right. I go up there and annihilate these guys. Por favor. There we go. Get tech 20, uh, 24. So what do we get? Fortresses. We got a shit ton of money. We can actually upgrade our... I don't think we even have any galleys. Uh, Grand Shipyard. Nice. So I'll tell you what, why don't we do this? Let's go into our building manager here. Let's get the Grand Shipyard and upgrade the ones that are over in this vicinity. Because if we're going to ever need fleets, it's most likely going to have to be in this area anyways. Let's see, is there anybody else? Build one right there. Yeah, about down here. We could actually queue up this coast. Yeah, why don't we do that? All right. That's that. Let's actually upgrade all the necessary forts. You can get one. You can get one. I don't know if... You know what? Actually, I should just dismantle that fort. That one makes no sense. Okay, those guys work. And then obviously, some of these. I think I'm doing it in my vassal's territory, but it'll pay off in the long run. Although I should have actually been paying attention to that. Simply because I really don't want to be upgrading forts. Whose territory is this? Oh, that's my territory. Right. I was going to say, I don't want to do it in any of our tributaries. Alright, let's hard save our game after that. Looks like we are getting a little bit of attrition here. So... Uh, we are attacking Ayutaya, so maybe we should actually get that group ready to go there. Now that these guys are actually in position. So that'll make 34. Why don't we go up to like 50? So I need 16. I just want to go up to 50 ships, 50 transports. I think that's a pretty reasonable number. Maybe even more than what we need. You guys can... Shouldn't be attaching me there, brother. Okay. Just making sure we're not getting any unnecessary attrition. God damn it. Knew that was going to happen. I was going to take my eye off of these fools. And then they were going to evade me. But we do have six maneuver. Now the question is, is where are they getting to go? Let me go up. Urgh. 
we take a little take on a little bit more why don't we do that and your money thank you Joloff take your land sir and your cash and of course he'll do it I just need to knock out his his military now all right as far as the canaries go let us uh, burn it to the ground first and then core it Uh, let's take you off as a general, because we don't need that. We'll actually bring in my, my transports here to help out, even though I don't really need to help out. Oh, I'm fighting Joloff's navy. That's certainly going to give us some war score. Where are these guys going to? Oh, you guys are locked in, huh? Excellent. Okay, so take our transports, pick up our army, as far as our main attack navy here. Let's actually say put them over somewhere here. And let's see here. You need to go there. You need to go there. We're still waiting for our transports to actually pick up this like little three stack. Which is fine. Not a big deal. Okay, there we are. There we have it. I can even take more. Join. Now I have that entire, entire coast over here, minus the uh, stuff that's colonizable. Okay, there's one. Wolof, of course, and then Gabu. Now we're at 73%, so... Truth be told, I probably should have waited on this war and actually pieced these guys out. But I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. You know, if I really wanted to go overboard, I could attack these other guys, too. Man, it sucks. I'm getting, like, st completely stymied because of this. Nice. Getting totally prestige. Perfect. So we have to attack... For, as part of our mission, we have to attack Malacca. Not gonna happen right away. Oh, it will in time. So I shouldn't actually have any more generals just standing around, correct? Absolutely do not need any. Not at the moment, anyways. Alright, let's pick you guys up. Uh, I'm not really entirely certain where I want to put these people. Probably... Somewhere back over here. Would actually like to, in instead of upgrading, or excuse me, integrating the air, I would actually like to feed them the rest of this chunk of Molly and then the rest of Yao. So let's see here. We can get a. What are you? Colonial governor? Sweetly. So we've already taken our tech. I'm guessing this is probably for admin tech. Yeah. Ha. Ah. See, this is kind of an important one because it gives us more states. Which means I got to dick around with that. Got to create some more states, and then of course the tribes are going to want more shit. So what do we got? Uh, the Delta. Okay. Definitely need to make you a state. Really stupid that we have to double core it. Okay, rum should be somewhere over here, correct? There we are. The next is Alento. Alentio. Alentio. Here, Albania. Yes, I know where Albania is at. It's just faster to do it this way. And then finally, it's going to be Medora. That should be it, correct? Okay, so let's uh, 
give some land away to our greedy ass estates. They need to know. Uh oh. 